And these are these are people that are not the types that are going out into bars on Friday night, getting drunk and trying to get into a fight with people and say, "Hey, look what I know. What, look what I can learn." I think that's always been the underlying factor: is that you've learned these techniques, but they're not to be used for just uh, a street fight. It's you're engaging in an art. It really it builds so much character to train this stuff that uh, the majority, at least really grow and, and become very, very strong people. This is not a fight. This is, this is a way of life for these people. And the last thing they want to do is be, uh, you know, flexing their muscle, trying to show people that uh, I'm a tough guy. There's, there's really none of that insecurity with any of these fighters. Yeah, I've, I've been in bar fights before. Um, it's nothing that I'm proud of, but, um, Just sometimes that kind of energy is floating around. There's something like 3.5 million people here, and when you put that many people in this small of a space, personal space goes right out the window. People will hit you. People will, will bump into you, and not think twice about it. Don't say sorry. And we're Canadians. We say sorry for everything. And I just was wandering in and out of shops, and I walked into this one shop, and there was a flyer up there for Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. It just seems like. It just seems like such a calming thing. I just, uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to give it a shot. Uh, literally translated, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu means the art of gentleness or the art of softness. And it's a martial art um, that really is, is uh, more of a philosophy. Neutralizing the size issue. I mean, you go back, I mean, the oldest story probably anyone would know is David versus Goliath with David winning with a rock. And I think. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu almost showed that yes, David could beat Goliath in a fight, but he doesn't necessarily need a rock to do so.